Number eight, it asks us to solve. So we'll start by separating the left from the right by drawing a line down the middle. Now we see the left and the right. So there's a variable on both sides. So we're trying to get rid of the smaller one. The smaller one here is the negative 9x. So I'm going to add 9x to both sides. This cancels, making the number 0. Bring down the equal sign, bring down the 20. Negative 5 plus 9x becomes a positive 4x. Do you see how there's still this number of 20 in front? So we're going to subtract 20 to both sides. 20 minus 20, that does cancel, leaving you with just a 4x. is equal to negative 20. Divide the 4 to both sides. 4 divided by 4 does cancel, making the number 1. That's why we just get x is equal to negative 20 divided by 4 becomes negative 5. All right, next, let's do b. Here's the line down that middle, okay? So if you distribute here, which a lot of you want to do, you're going to end up with 3y over 2 and minus 3. Still ugly, don't do that. What you should do is try to get rid of the divide by 2. How do you get rid of divide by 2? We're going to multiply by 2. Multiply by 2 to both sides. So be careful on the left-hand side. This multiply by 2 is going to be multiplied to everything here. So put this in a parentheses. The 2 times 1 over 2 will cancel. On the left-hand side, you're left with just a 3y minus 6. On the right-hand side, this 2 is being multiplied to both terms. So think about it as just being distributed. The 2 times negative 4y becomes a negative 8y. 2 times 8 becomes a 16. Bring down the equal sign. Now we want to get rid of the smaller variable. Negative 8y is smaller than 3y. So we're going to add 8y to both sides. Why? Because negative 8y plus 8y would cancel. We're left with 8y plus 3y. This becomes 11y minus 6 is equal to plus 16. To get rid of the negative 16, we're going to add 6 to both sides. Negative 6 plus 6 cancels, leaving you with just an 11y is equal to 16 plus 6 becomes uh, 22. Divide 11 to both sides because that's how you make the number 1. Now we are left with y is equal to 22 divided by 11, which is just 2.